Hi, I'm Peter Cowan, The Bee Whisperer. You know how when you share a common interest and uh, you and uh, hobby, that sort of thing, you automatically connect with uh, a person and you really uh, feel already like you know them to some degree. Uh, well, at the moment with this war in the Ukraine, it's kind of making me think about uh, our friends there. The, uh, did you know that uh, Ukraine is the fifth largest honey producer in the world? There are uh, about one in 107 Ukrainians keep bees. Uh, compare that with the United States, it's about one in 1,500 people keep bees. So those of you who watch Beekeeping with the Bee Whisperer, uh, about 1% of the Ukrainians are fellow beekeepers. Uh, for, for that matter, I have over 100 viewers in Ukraine watching Beekeeping with the Bee Whisperer. I think, in fact, I've had about 136 views from uh, Ukraine, of which uh, I am sure that there isn't a one of them watching beekeeping videos right now. Uh, but uh, I certainly feel for them so much and I wish them the very best. I wish them safety for themselves, their family, their livestock, and that uh, as soon as this is all over, they are back to their normal lives. So I just want to say our hearts and our prayers are with you folks there in Ukraine. And uh, we hope that, every, that uh, you come through this okay. And uh, when this, is, this craziness is all over, that uh, you're back to keeping your bees and have the peace, peace of mind of working with your bees and the, the pleasure of being in the bees in a free country. I hope you all stay safe. Perhaps some of you are aware of efforts to help Ukrainian beekeepers uh, recover from this uh, catastrophe and uh, perhaps there's something that we can do to help in the future. So please feel free to put comments below and, uh, we'll, and we'll publicize it when we know more. I don't usually talk about politics or that sort of thing, but when I realize this, just how many um, folks in the Ukraine share my interest and love of bees, uh, it uh, really did bring it extra, extra close to home to me. In the meantime, here, uh, here in Maine, uh, we had another couple of inches of snow last night, another inch or two coming tomorrow, tonight rather. Um, it's still, we're still tantalizingly close to being able to get out there and work with our bees. And uh, with the current news, I would be very glad to do so. Uh, but I think it'll be a week or two. So I'm uh, stocking up on pollen patties which as soon as we have some warmer weather, I'm gonna start getting it into my heavy hives. When I was looking at my videos from this spring, uh, the last spring of 2021, I was in in the first week or so of uh, March last year. Having said that, we've already had virtually double the snow we had at this time last year. Uh, so it's certainly a, uh, a little snowy, a little colder winter than we had before. So I'm not expecting spring to be two to three weeks early like we had last year. Um, but in the meantime, that gives me a bit more time to prepare. I've had a few more things on my plate with beekeeping 24 seven and that sort of thing. So to some extent, I'm grateful for having a little bit more time to get ready for the spring. I've already got one of my Hamden Academy uh, kids helping out in the barn. In fact, I've had one, one recent graduate and another one. Uh, I won't have Jordan this year. Jordan's got full-time employment else, elsewhere uh, in his chosen profession, so good for him. Uh, but I'll be having help from the Kids at Hamlet Academy, and uh, I know I've got a few folks that are looking for some beekeeping experience to help me out here as well. So I'm looking forward to getting together with folks and uh, getting uh, beekeeping for 2022 going. In the meantime, please spare thought for the folks in Ukraine, especially those beekeepers there. Um, we hope they all come through unscathed and uh, with a positive result at the end of all of this craziness. I'm Peter Cowan, the Bee Whisperer. That was my two cents worth. See you next time.